Morning guys. So um, things are a bit backwards today. I've got to do some after hours work tonight, so I start work at 6 p.m. I tried to stay up pretty late last night and um, sleep in this morning, but I can't do it. I got to nine o'clock, which I thought was half decent. I was trying to sleep till like 11, 12, but not possible. Let's go look at the fish. So guys, in the mornings, I do do a little bit of fry feeding. I haven't got any lights on these tanks, so uh, you can't really see what's going on inside them. I just feed the fry and I feed a couple of groups that I'm trying to get to grow a bit faster. I don't feed the adults. I only like the sub adults and the everyone who's not at the breeding stage yet. Um, the Nibachromus Linny I feed twice a day but I only feed them very lightly, but that's it, food's gone. Um, I've been feeding these guys twice a day. Just trying to get her to lay. They eat a lot of food. I actually thought she was going to lay the other day, but she didn't. Look how red she is. She's a crazy fish. So I don't really know what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to try, I want to try to take it easy, because I've got to work till like 2, 3 in the morning. But um, I'm the sort of person that gets bored pretty easily. Alright, and if you're wondering what all the noise is in the videos when I'm inside the house, it's this little guy here. Where is he? Uh, there. So that's Monty. I actually had him before I met my partner, and um, so he's about 10 years old. He's um he's not confined to the cage; it's open. I know some people worry the cage is a bit small for him, but it's got no doors on it, so he just goes in and out as he pleases. I don't have any. I don't think he has any dramas with the size of it. We did have him in an outdoor aviary thing and he actually got attacked by rats so he's got a bit of damaged wing and that's when we decided to bring him back inside. Oh, I really can't see, it's so bright. So we're off to get some frozen mice. Um, I'm just going to go to your generic chain store. I rang Murdoch to buy a bag of 50 but you have to order it one day in advance and um, I'm only doing one day night shift so tomorrow I'll be back in the workshop they're only open from um, 7 until 3 o'clock and I actually finish early on a Friday and it's less than half an hour away but the kicker is they finish early on a Friday too so Unless I can organise someone to go get them for me, I can't really get them from Murdoch, which is a pain because they're expensive from the chain stores. Alright, I'll see you when we get there. So I've got a bit of a flat tyre there. Um, I just stopped at two servos and both servos the air pump was out of order. So I think I'm just going to have to stop being lazy and get the compressor out of the shed. And hopefully the staff don't hear me, but walking through these fish sections in this uh, chain store is cringeworthy. Uh, pretty stoked day. Eh? Look how stocked they are. Um, I'm guessing discontinued. Like... <sighs> okay, so I chat to the staff and their freezer broke, so I'm gonna have to go around the corner to the next shop. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try a Pet City Coburn. It's quite a nice shop, it's just expensive, that's all. Alright guys, adult mice. 
$26 later, thank you very much for five. Um, yeah, that's what I get for being lazy and not ordering. Alright guys, I got a couple of uh, rat, oh, no they're not rats, they're mice. I got a couple of mice defrosting. Same shit really, isn't it? Um, I want to talk about something. So if you look just there, I could turn the camera around but where's the fun in that? That is actually a rat breeding cage. Um, I built it, I got rats and um, it didn't go so well. I was cleaning the cage out one day, I was thinking, geez these rats haven't bred, thinking about getting rid of them. Cleaning the cage out one day and um, throwing the shredded newspaper in the bin and I could hear squeaking in the bin and I'd actually throw the babies in the bin. So I pulled the babies out and put them back with the parents and because I had fiddled with it, the parents ate them. So that's when I decided not to breed rats. But after just going and spending $27 on five mice, it really, uh, the urge to do it again is really there. And um, I think it's a dumb idea, but I'll probably do it. The cage has been empty for like two years and you know, you know when you have a bad experience and you just forget about it and then it's like, oh yeah, let's do that, that'd be a fucking sick idea. Yeah, well that's alright now. Alright guys, so I've turned it around for you to look at. So, it is completely feral. It's got like spiders, leaves, all sorts of stuff. So, but the actual structure is made out of PVC board. The front wire is stainless steel and the legs are solid timber so the actual structure of it is still fine even though it's been out in the rain. Um, there was a PVC like Z here which linked all this so it was actually one complete system and then if I remember correctly Oh no, I'm lying. Let's restart this. The bottom two and that one is linked. So that was a three. Those three were linked for the adults and these two were meant to be little grow outs for the babies. Um, in hindsight, I think it's actually a bit too small for rats. Should really be mice. I'm not really sure. I don't know what size they need. But yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's probably a dumb idea. Anyway, let's get back to feeding the frozen ones. Alright guys, so what I generally do is I defrost two. Um, I feed the carpet first. Half the time the Stimpsons doesn't eat in this cooler weather. The carpet pretty much guaranteed to eat. And um, if the Stimpsons doesn't eat, I give the second one to the carpet, because the carpet can take two. Whoa! Um, yep, so the carpet's hungry. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and feed her now. Oh, I'm not going to lie, that actually scared the hell out of me. I didn't really think about the fact that while I was uh, talking, I was waving a mouse in front of a snake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, um, she's got the cord. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave that there. She's got the um, thermometer for the thermostat wrapped around her. Um, I'm sure she'll figure it out. Hopefully she doesn't snap it. Oh, uh, we'll leave her be for a bit now. All right, so this is Stimson. They're both about to shed by the looks of it. Um, I don't know if she'll eat. She's a bit of a temperamental eater. No. If she was going to eat, she would have struck by now. 
I generally find with her, she pretty much goes the whole winter not eating. Um, her thermostat's reading 30 degrees, so she should be warm enough. Even in summer, sometimes she doesn't eat. Yeah, she's a bit of a funny eater, this one. Um, I've had her probably like four years and she's always been like this, an on-off eater and it's never seemed to bother her. Um, from what I've been told by other reptile keepers is it's pretty common with Stimpsons not to eat. So um, I'll just leave that there and we'll give the carpet 10 minutes and um, once, once he's ingested that we'll serve up the second one. I completely forgot to film, I got sidetracked, but I just gave her a second mouse. She smashed it straight away. I can hardly open my eyes looking up at the camera, but I'm going to wrap the video up there. I'm just going to give my, well, weeds a quick mow before I go to work. So, um, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. So guys, just when you thought it was the end of the video, my lawnmower broke. Um, if you're in the market for a lawnmower, I suggest spending more than $180 because it's a drama. So. I'm not going to hold you on the, oh, here we go, that's what's broken, the tensioner. Alright, so, bit of background, I bought this not running for $180, it's a roughly a $800 to $1,000 mower, so, I did save myself a lot of money, but this chain and tensioner has been a drama since the day I got it, and um, today's no exception. Alright guys. So we've got a seriously ghetto fix. I've like jammed a couple of washers in there. That's rigid now. It's got no spring pushing it. Um, I'm going to have to get to a mile shop and sort that out. Anyway, we'll wrap it up there, guys, again. And I'll see you next time.